In today's episode, we're going to talk about how you can add multiple streams of income inside of your travel business. Hi, my name is Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss, and today we're going to talk about multiple streams of income. What you can do in your travel business to add additional revenue into your business above and beyond the normal way of making money. Now, before we get started, let's talk about what the normal way of making money is for those who may be new to the industry and don't know how travel agents make money. The first and primary revenue stream that most agents make in their business is through travel supplier commissions. That commission is given to you by, say, a hotel for booking with a particular hotel. That hotel will pay either you or your host agency a percentage of sales, and then you will receive that in the form of a commission check. Another, um, this is the primary way that most people get revenue in their travel business. However, I encourage you to look for additional ways to get revenue in your travel business so that you have multiple ways that you are making money. Now, one of the biggest downfalls with travel commission is, is you usually do not receive the commission until the person has traveled. And these other revenue streams that we're going to be talking about are going to be ways for you to get cash into your business above and beyond before someone travels or um, at the time that they travel. So let's talk about the first way that you can add an additional stream of revenue into your business. One of those is through uh, what is called a retainer fee. What you would do is you would charge, let's say, a $200 retainer fee for your prospective customer. They would pay that to you in advance for you to book travel with them. That's usually for you to cover any of the research fees or that can be any amount that you decide to charge. But let's say someone contacts you and would like you to uh, work on their behalf as a travel agent, you would charge them a flat retainer fee to procure your services. That's referred to as a retainer fee. Another stream of income that you can add for your travel business is what is referred to as a booking or a research fee. You charge this for any customer who is looking for you to provide a quote or create a custom itinerary of travel for them. You can charge, again, any price that you want for this booking or research fee, but that is usually paid upfront prior to the person getting the quote or uh, research from your business. The next item is called a markup. And a markup is the amount that you charge above and beyond what the supplier charges you. So for example, if you book an airline ticket and you are going through a wholesaler like Centrov or Skybird or any of the other consolidators that exist out there for airfare, they may charge you, let's say, you want to book a trip from here to Paris and they charge you $1,000 for that. That $1,000 fare is probably a negotiated rate that the wholesaler has been able to get with the airline and only makes that fare available to travel agents. You, in turn, could charge a $200 markup, let's say, if the going rate for that same itinerary was $1,200 you could get the $200 markup in that example. You can charge markups on airlines, on hotels, on packages, pretty much anywhere where the market will allow it. Meaning you don't wanna charge a markup for something, let's say the going rate for that same flight from Dallas to Paris is only $1,000 and that's the published rate, you wouldn't want to charge an additional 200 if the published rate was 1000 So you do need to be aware of what the market rate is for whatever you're going to do a markup on. But you should consider markups as part of additional revenue inside of your travel business. What you can build inside of your business is what's referred to as cancellation fees. You would charge, you would let your customer know at the time that they book with you that you charge, let's say $75 for any cancellation, $75 per person, $50 per person, whatever, again, the fee that you would like to charge, but just be upfront about that as a part of your fee schedule when you talk to your customer and when you're booking your customer. You don't want 
cancellation fee to be a surprise to your customer at the time that they cancel. You want to be upfront about that. Another fee that you can add as a revenue stream in your business is service fees. These would be charged to customers for things such as changes to their itinerary, adding additional people, changing a name after the final booking of a particular reservation. You want to be really clear about any additional fees that a person would incur if after the time that you finalize the booking that they make changes. These would be changes that your agency charges to your customer in the event that those uh, items, whatever you define them as, occur. Common service fee examples would be what I mentioned, which would be name changes, changes in time, maybe date. Anything that requires you to do additional work would be things that you would consider to charge as a service fee. An additional item that you could add to your stream of income is membership fees. What you would do is you would create a membership, let's say a travel membership or a travel club membership associated with your agency and you would charge a recurring monthly fee for participation in that membership. Now, what you want to do if you decide to do a membership is you want to be super clear about what the features of the membership are, what the benefits of joining the membership is, and then obviously what the cost is. You want to make sure that it's very beneficial for your customers to join and they can be very beneficial for for you as a travel agency for utilizing this type because it's recurring income, it's guaranteed monthly as long as you keep up your end of the bargain. Now the next item that you could add is what's referred to as digital products. That would be like an online class, it would be an ebook, something that you would deliver electronically to your customers. Now, as a travel agent, there are great opportunities for creation of digital products. Now, one example of a digital product that you could add to your travel business would be a how-to. A how-to training seminar or a guide that uh, goes into in-depth instructions on how to do a particular thing. For example, if you specialized in wedding weddings, a great do-it-yourself digital product that you could create is a class on how to plan your own wedding, right? You could create this course and it could be an hour to two hours. It could be a multiple week course where you would teach somebody how to plan their own wedding, let's say a destination wedding. Now, you might ask yourself, well, what if I you know, wouldn't this take away from my own income as a travel agent by offering this course? The great thing about digital courses is, is that people, there are different types of customers that exist in the marketplace. You've got do-it-yourselfers, you've got people who want to have it done for them. And with creating a digital product, what you do is you allow to service those who want to do it themselves, right? You could also offer your services as a, con a cons consultation, maybe create a service that would be an initial con consultation with the purchase of this video that you would create. Whatever you decide to do for a digital product, just know that once you create it, it's done. And then all you've got to do is market it. It's already available. You could sell it. And digital products sell from anywhere from $7.99 all the way up to thousands of dollars. So if you create the right do-it-yourself program that leverages the skills that you have as a travel professional and you make those available to prospective customers, once you do it, it's done and it's available for you to make money time and time again. The next item that you could add as a revenue stream for your business is selling products and that's physical products. So you could sell t-shirts, you could create custom t-shirts for people based on their trip and have it customized. You could just sell regular t-shirts, you could sell travel, uh, you could sell travel products such as mugs, straws. <laughs> For people who are in, um, who specialize in the cruise industry, a lot of cruises are getting away from 
having straws because it's detrimental to the environment. So they're going to paper straws. If you've ever used a paper straw, you may or may not like that. But what is becoming very popular in the cruise industry or for cruisers are straws, metal straws and uh, cleaners that go with them. So you could sell those passport holders. Um, uh, luggage, there's all sorts of products in the travel industry or related to the travel industry that you could offer and make available on your site for people to purchase. So products is another revenue stream. And all you really need to do at that point is just identify a vendor, identify the products that you want to sell, get a wholesale um, account created with those vendors and then start to offer them as a part of your offering on your site. These are all great ideas for you to add revenue streams, but like with any revenue stream that you add, I just want you to think about what it is that you want to do, who your target audience is, what your um, investment of time and money is going to be in order and make sure that it makes sense for your business. So for example, I wouldn't want you to do all of these things at the same time, but there's some of these that are naturally easier to do than others, right? So for example, adding on your additional fees into your business, those are very simple add-ons that you can do as long as you just provide the right notification. Look inside of Marketing Boss Academy. I've created a masterclass called Agency Fees That Paid, and that course identifies how you create fees implement them inside of your travel business. So the types of fees that we've talked about today, you can easily add to your business with, without much effort. Look below for the link to that class. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the multiple in today's episode, we're going to talk about how you can add multiple streams of income inside of your travel business. It is my hope that you're able to take these ideas and implement them so that you can experience additional revenue streams in your business. This is Sunday Gardner, and I look forward to talking to you soon.